Hello there, Ziri here. Welcome to our second episode of Hitman 3. Today we are going into Alexa Carlisle's mansion in Dartmoor, and we are going to uh, play a little murder mystery. So I hope you enjoy, and uh, let's uh, get it going. Just going to leave all the settings. Yeah, we're good. All right, here we go. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? How are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, Jed. There we go. Had to get the controller working. Do, 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 do. This place looks creepy. Straight up out of the Adams family, almost. This is a private area, sir. Please wait, ma'am. Private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Come on, dude. Come on in. Nothing to fear in this creepy bush. Thumbs up, mate. Come on. Come on back. Come on. You know, you, you, you want the coin. Boom. Famous private investigator here. Doing some uh, work. Yep, yeah, yeah, totally, Mr. Whitmer. Yes, let's go. Yes, please. If you follow me, 
I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary, and, and all this security. I've never seen a place guarded like this, and... Uh, and I dare say I don't like it at all. Well, this is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution. Handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. Not lying. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby of Butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. Let's, yeah, let's, let's get going. You can just let the, uh, the refreshments wait. You know, I'll get to those. Maybe you can put them in a doggy bag? Pack that up, uh, on my way out after I kill Alexa. <coughs> I mean, um, help Alexa. A locked room murder list. All right. I trust, I trust you'll get, get to the bottom of this. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Let's look at the laptop. Password is probably password. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. No. Why didn't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Looks poison to me. But he's gripping at his throat. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search at the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. All right, Senor Butler. Give me some info. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself, as the only person here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here's the material that I've prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Mm, all right, let's figure this out. What's this? Yeah, I don't need to blend in. I'm literally got full access because so I'm the detective. The mystery, 47. Motive means an opportunity, I believe. Emma Carla, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need They're to all suspects. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Anything else you want to know? How did you feel about huh. Zachary? I might as well be honest. Surprised, I didn't His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? 
In you talk about plants? Bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary... Mm, was the first one that mentions depression. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Hmm. Alright. So, not learn a whole lot there. Let's look around the room, see what interesting items we might find. Well... I grabbed an apricot and the whole thing broke? Damn. She said things will change around here. I can promise you that. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside. Except Patrick's mother, Emma. Alright, I guess we'll go upstairs and look around in the bedrooms and see what we can find. I like how this has kind of turned into a game of Clue. I'm gonna be disappointed if it was the butler, though. Like, hardcore. Guess I'm gonna have to try to climb into that bedroom. This is fun. Do, 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 do. They me no mind. I'm just walking on a ledge around this room. Probably a more direct path to take, but I decided to go the long way around. There we go. Well, yeah, well, maybe a little quicker. I don't know. Anything of interest out here? No, not really. All right, what are you guys hiding? Let me see. Now this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? I swear I'm missing a room. Let me look at my intel. Rebecca's room. Oh, I missed a clue in Emma and Gregory's. Which Emma and Gregory. Letter, greenhouse, the shoes. So I need to go back in that room. Did I maybe leave the door unlocked? Yes. No, this isn't Emma and Gregory's. Damn it. All right, this way. Oh. Yep. All right. Now let's go back and look at Intel. So we have cleared. So I think we need to go out in the garden and figure out what Emma was doing out there. Yes, sure. But he, he was upset believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about All right. It looks like it was recently used, though.
This is a painting showing lethal dosages for the poisons used to kill Zachary. Something is circled 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carla is next in line for a poisoning. Hey. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carla. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. I wish I could have found a sample of matching handwriting, but all the evidence does point to Emma. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No, no go on. I found a letter from Emma's mother, Jane, who was the fiancé of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised him to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery was cut out to take over from father. All heart and no fault. Emma used the funeral gallery to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used the poison one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solve the case. So, what do you suggest? I want, I want the, the file, file you have on Arthur, Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would, I would like, like to see, see her, her dead. dead. No? no? What, what is she? I'll have, have to see to, see to it some, some other way, way then. then. Mission complete. Well done, 47. All right. We'll move on. Nobody will know she's dead. Just think she's missing until that box starts to stink. 
Yep, thanks. Good job to me. I uh, took her out. At least I wore the same clothes on my way out, didn't get anything dirty. Five star rating, oh yeah! Not bad at all. Alright, well thanks for watching. Pretty awesome, we got five stars on that mission. It's first for me in this game. Well, in any of the Hitman games, um, that was smooth, it was a lot of fun. But thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll check you in the next episode. Zeri out.